Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. I've uh, got a couple of autographed albums here. They're real special to me. Fleetwood Mac and Elton John, huh? Yes, sir. I was in the radio business for around 25 years, and the artists were gracious enough to sign them for me. Oh, you're in radio, huh? Yeah. You definitely got a voice for it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky to sell my autographed Fleetwood Mac Rumors album and my autographed Elton John Goodbye Yellow Brick Road album. The albums are in pretty good shape. The vinyl's perfect. There's no scratches. Uh, they probably haven't been played in 20 years. I'd like to get $200 for each album. If we're able to make a sale today, I will definitely be donating 100% of the proceeds to the charities that the artists represent. I don't want to profit personally from their generosity. This is pretty cool. Both autographed and signed to John. I'm assuming you're John? I'm John, okay. yes. Okay, <laughs> all right, so they're all to John. So who all signed the Fleetwood Mac? Here we got Stevie Nicks for sure, um, Mick Fleetwood and... Christian McVie. But you missed out on Lindsey Buckingham? Yeah, yep. I guess you can't win them all. This by far is like their most successful album. God, it was like a number one album for 31 weeks or something like that. I mean, that has to be up there. I know it got a Grammy for best album. You know, they're a little tongue-in-cheek with the name, rumors. I mean, there was all kinds of rumors going on about what was going on inside the band. I know there was an affair somewhere inside of the band, something like that, so they called the album Rumors. It'd be hard to find anybody that doesn't like Fleetwood Mac on some level. And then you got, you know, Sir Elton John here. This is obviously before he was knighted, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, the guy's just always been a phenomenal performer. He's always done really, really well. He was famous before this one came out, Yellow Big Road, but this one kind of catapulted him, selling 30 million copies. And, you know, he's still going today. I mean, it's pretty impressive when you really think about it. So, I mean, you came in here because you're looking to sell them, right? Right. So, uh, what are you looking to get for them? I was thinking uh, 200 each would be a fair price. I'm no expert. I don't know what autographs go for, but uh, I, I just picked that number. Okay, um, so I'll tell you what, you seem like a pretty trustworthy guy, but do you mind if I have the signatures checked out? I think that'd be great. Okay, um, let me just take a picture and uh, send him over to my guy. He's out of town right now. All right, hang out. I'll give him a call real quick, okay? Yes, sir. Well, I know 100% that they're authentic, but uh, it's always good to get input and uh, have an expert take a look. A guy came into the shop with two autograph albums, one signed by Elton John and the other by members of Fleetwood Mac. He's asking $200 for each of them, so I called up Steve Grad to tell me if these signatures are legit, and if so, what these albums are worth. Did you get those pictures I sent you? I did, yeah. I had a chance to go over those two albums, and uh, pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Have you looked at all the autographs? All the autographs are legit? Yeah, no problem. So what can you tell me about the Fleetwood Mac album? Uh, that one is really kind of intriguing. If you take a look at that album, Corey, down in the bottom right quarter, uh, Rick Vito signed it. Rick replaced Lindsey Buckingham. To make that Fleetwood Mac album even worth more money, it would need Lindsey Buckingham, and unfortunately, his signature's not on there. But you got Stevie Nicks, John McVie, Christine McVie, Mick Fleetwood. So I think it's a pretty neat piece, Corey. Anytime you have Fleetwood Mac with Stevie Nicks on it, it's pretty significant. Okay, and um, what do you think about the Elton John Yellow Big Road? huge autograph on that. I definitely put it sometime signed in probably like the late 80s, early 90s. I find him to be kind of a, a more reclusive signer now the last few years. So in terms of collectability for him, it's like solid gold. That is a, a great piece to have signed by. Okay, so um, what do you think they're worth a piece? On the value, uh, the Elton John is worth about $500. The Fleetwood Mac, you know, it's got a lot going on on it. It's a very nice piece, but I'd still put that value right at about $800. Um, if you had Lindsay on there, I think it would add a lot more value. All right, my man. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, see you soon. All right, so I got some good news for you. So in case you didn't hear, um, the retail on the Fleetwood Mac is 800 retail on Elton John's 500 So I think we're doing a little better than you thought. Um, but I kind of have a hunch that there could even be more value here. Autographs are one thing, but they are albums, and the albums are collectible themselves. Right. So I got my guy Warwick in town. Do you mind if I have him take a look at him, too? Great. As much as we can learn, the better. All right. Uh, hang out. I'll be back in a few. Great news from the autograph expert. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the uh, rock and roll memorabilia fellow has to say.